Uh, hello everyone, my name is Xiao Hu Zhang. Uh, I'm an incoming assistant professor at the University of North Carolina at uh, Pembroke on this floor. Uh, this work was uh, collaborated with my uh, colleague, Zoe Li, and uh, my advisor, Anna Das from North Carolina State University. Today, I will be presenting my paper, uh, Voice PM, uh, a robust primacy measurement on voice and image. Let me show the pointer. Okay. Uh, VAs have been pervasively laptops, smartphones, and uh, voice, uh, smart speakers. Uh, this figure shows the typical data flow of the voice interaction systems. Uh, the microphone records the audio and uploads the cloud. The cloud, uh, the vendor and the attacker could access the, the cloud, get the data to do the speaker verification or um, other forms of voice attributes, such as gender and accent for commercial purposes. For example, sorry. Uh, for example, Amazon has a potential that uh, could uh, analyze your voice uh, to determine whether you are depressed or uh, and sell your product based on your emotional condition. Another example is here is McDonald's. Uh, it will report you they can attract your uh, the voice print of the uh, a pass by to identify uh, repeated customers when you drive through. So next time when you drive through the uh, McDonald's, they can recognize your, uh, your voice and uh, give you uh, food pro uh, recommendations. To protect the speech privacy in the last decade, uh, the industry and the researchers uh, have conducted uh, uh, extensive uh, evaluation on the speech uh, anonymity. For instance, uh, in the voice uh, privacy are changing in the 2020 and the 2022. Uh, participants uh, develop a noise system to anonymize the speaker voice to hide speaker identity, uh, to maximize speaker verification equal error rate. Uh, meantime, they want to preserve the speech utility to minimize the word error rate. State-of-art state anonymized models uh, include the four categories. The first one is signal percency. Uh, it it altering the signals, uh, for example, like, such as McDonald's and uh, uh, VTLN, vocal tract uh, length normalization approaches. The second one is voice uh, synthesis. Uh, the third one is uh, voice conversion. It can convert the, uh, one speaker to another uh, target speaker uh, voice. The fourth one is uh, voice adversary examples. Uh, voice uh, adversary examples, they use uh, adversary machine learning to uh, to generate uh, inaudible sound into the audio to uh, generate adversary uh, examples. However, existing uh, works uh, are limited to analyzing uh, only one or two of voice-based attributes. Uh, for example, a LOFU 2022 paper, they just focus on gender and emotion. And then Ju uh, 2021 paper, uh, they focus on the emotion only. Uh, in the meantime, it also uh, lacks uh, like, uh, a systematic framework to analyze multiple attributes, such as gender, accent, emotion. Uh, the, the second limitation is uh, that uh, existing works, they do not consider the overall trade-off between speech utility, uh, speaker verification, and the inference of voice attributes. Uh, for example, the voice privacy 2022 changing, they just focus on speech utility and non speaker verification. Therefore, we propose a voice PM, a robust voice uh, privacy measurement on the state of art of voice and anonymization solutions. Uh, our proposed system uh, bridges the communication between the user and the sort of APVs and, uh, and speak loud. So the, we, uh, we, in our uh, uh, voice prime, PM, privacy control, we have the two basic uh, primary control. One is a uh, basic privacy control for the speaker verification. The second is the enhanced privacy control so the user can have the flexibility to hide uh, voice attributes such as emotion and edge. So once the uh, voice was uh, anonymized uh, by the anonymized agent, the same time the audio will be sent to the uh, speak cloud for speech to text uh, processing. In this way, voice PM can incorporate into the operating system. It also also can provide the, the user uh, the flexibility to configure the privacy levels. Uh, our objectives are preserve transcription utility, hide uh, speaker verification, and also what the voice attribute in France. To design the proposed system, we raise two recent questions. The first question, can we formulate, uh, formulate uh, Privacy utility train off to consider speech utility, speaker verification, and the inference of physical attributes. The second question is can we uh, design a, a protocol the user can uh, have the choice to select the privacy level uh, for different uh, 
based on the different voice on my medicine techniques. Now uh, I conclude our threat model. Uh, our threat model include two uh, scenarios. The first is a linked uh, attacker. Uh, the attacker could uh, use a similar score to determine uh, to design the utterance from the uh, uh, from the same speaker or not. For example, they have the two uh, two database. One is no database, another a no base. Uh, they try to uh, to uh, find a similarity score to get the speaker verification. The second is attribute inference attacker. Uh, the attacker could identify the speaker accent, emotion, uh, any and gender uh, use uh, uh, voice inference at uh, inference models. To answer uh, the first question, question, how can we divide develop the privacy and utility uh, trend off models? Uh, first, we redefine the speech utility metrics. The existing work using uh, word error rate uh, to measure the speech quality. So the first is the, word error is the number of the a substitution, a number of the deletion, and a number of the insertion. So they calculate the number, total number of the um, substitution, deletion, and the insertion divided the number of the uh, ground tools. And then they can get the word error rate. In our uh, approach, we normalize the uh, uh, word error rate use a UTT. So here, we, what error rate baseline is what error rate for the uh, original speech in the database. Uh, what error rate model is uh, for annoying online speech. Uh, in this case, we can normalize the speech utility uh, in the range of the, between zero and one. So next, we have uh, a developer speech, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, speech uh, utility metrics. We want to develop speech uh, privacy metrics. Uh, the existing works using uh, use speaker verification uh, equal error rate to measure speaker verification accuracy. Uh, here, we also uh, uh, normalize, normalize the speaker verification. We use S. Uh, here, we have the equal error rate baseline. We first calculate the original database uh, uh, of the uh, e ER, and then we calculate the ER for uh, the, the two databases between the clean speech and the same time speech generated by the online models. Then we can get the uh, normal, normalized speaker verification uh, equation. Uh, next, we want to uh, measure the uh, speech uh, uh, similarity between the two voice uh, attributes. So we, we apply the Jakarta similarity. Uh, here we have the A. A is a set of voice attributes of the original speaker. Uh, a prime is a set of inferent voice attributes from the recorded audio. Uh, for example, we have the uh, uh, voice attributes, uh, for example, gender, gender uh, accent, emotion. We can uh, calculate the Jakarta similarity between the two, uh, two sets of voice attributes. How, how can we combine those uh, speaker verification and JKL similar together? Here we introduce the new parameters gamma. Gamma is uh, in the range of uh, zero and one. Uh, it leverages the individual components on a speaker verification and on the JKL similarity. So in this case, we also calculate the formula the uh, privacy matrix P, uh, which will be in the range of zero and one. The idea of uh, relationship between privacy uh, and the utility uh, uh, the typical relation between privacy and utility as it shows in this figure. They form on nonlinear uh, patterns like an arc. So how can we maximize the trade trend of uh, between the privacy and the utility? First, we have already de redefined the utility and we also redefined the privacy. Uh, we calculate the trend of user, uh, user uh, square area. Here we can see uh, since they form the nonlinear patterns, we can find some point in the uh, in the in the arc in the curve can get the uh, the maximum value for the trend off. Therefore, we develop our theorem is uh, privacy increase while the utility decrease. Uh, there exists a point where the p and u from uh, a rectangle with the highest area trend off t. To evaluate our data set, we uh, implement our model on three open source data. The first is Mozilla Common Voice uh, English data set. The second is a uh, uh, IEMO uh, CAP emotion data set. The third one is a AI shell uh, one Mandarin Chinese data set. For example, here is the Mozilla Common Voice uh, English, English data set summary, uh, which includes uh, 10 accents uh, for the United States, uh, England, and Chinese uh, accent. To build the baseline, Attributes in French models, we're applying the state of art speech representation uh, learning networks such as Wave 2, VIC2, uh, ECAPA, uh, time delay neural networks. Uh, here we can see that we have the attributes of emotion. Emotion includes the four uh, emotional state, 
happiness, anger, sadness, neutral. Uh, AJ also includes the six classifications and the accent includes 10 uh, accents. Gender uh, has a male and a female. As we can see, the uh, wave two vector base uh, uh, achieved a, a better accuracy compared to the accuracy uh, from the e kappa time delay neural network. To reduce the computing uh, burden while maintaining high accuracy, uh, we select a model, uh, emotion and accent model based on the wave two uh, vector two models. And then we select a gender and agent model based on the Kappa uh, time delay neural network. So next, I want to introduce the Neumann model I applied in the, my paper. The first is McDams. Uh, here we see the first you have a speech uh, frames, and as you first you apply linear prediction coding and to get the coefficient and the residue. Uh, and then uh, we convert the RPC to the pose. Uh, pose is a uh, is a harmonic of the of speech. Uh, here we see the uh, the parameter alpha. Alpha is a McDam's coefficient. Alpha here. Uh, after this step, we convert the pose to the RPC, uh, and finally we resynthesize the speech frame uh, to get the anonymous speech frames. The second is vocal tract length normalization. Uh, it includes two uh, warping functions. The first is a bilinear warping, warping function. Uh, here we have the uh, alpha, and we have the omita. Omita is a normalized frequency. And alpha is in the region minus one, and one is a warping factor used to the uh, uh, tune the strength of voice conversion. The second is a quadrac uh, function. Uh, it, those uh, uh, two functions were applying the voice mask paper. Uh, we call the voice mask A alpha or voice mask uh, beta. The third anomaly uh, is uh, uh, voice synthesis, uh, half again. Uh, have a kind of general, general, generative anniversary network that can uh, synthesize text to speech. Uh, the fourth one is mask uh, cycle gun, is a voice conversion technique. The last one is V clock, is an adversary machine learning uh, technique to uh, add uh, inaudible noise to audio to generate adversary examples. Uh, in this case, in this uh, way, uh, the generator sound can fool the speaker uh, verification system. To first uh, justify our assumption of the trend of meter, uh, so the privacy uh, P and the utility, they form an arc. Uh, we run the data uh, of, to change the maximum parameters from a 0.1 to uh, uh, 0.01, uh, or the 0.5 to 0.9. And on the voice mask, we put in uh, for VTL in linear wrapping coefficient, we change the 0 0.01, 0 0.02. And the voice mask beta, we change the, the beta from 0 to 1. We can see, uh, Roughly, they form the non linear patterns, and uh, there exists some point. It should have uh, the maximum point to get the maximum uh, trend off. The second step we determine the impact of a gamma on trend off. Uh, since we define the trend off is a uh, is, uh, privacy multiple utility, we have the gamma value, right? The, the first figure shows the McDam coefficient. We have the trend off. We made the trend off, and uh, we have the McDam coefficient from the 0.5 to 0.9. And um, the gamma value we uh, apply in the 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. As we can see, these two figures. The second one is uh, uh, VTLN linear warping coefficient. Uh, as we can see that. So for the both approaches, we can see uh, at some point they achieve uh, the optimal trend off. Uh, at some point. So here we see the McDonald's coefficient is uh, the optimal point is 0 0.75 and for a voice mask approach is 0 0.40. So, so therefore uh, uh, alpha change the trend of T we can see here and also change the optimal coefficient. But uh, overall we can see the when we increase the gamma it also increase the trend off. The big, this reasoning is that uh, when we increase when we add uh, more attributes in the model it also increases the cost. So that's why the trend off will be increased as well. So next we determine what extent the inference uh, model can are impacted by uh, uh, how to control voice attributes. Here we give the example is the McDonald's coefficient. Uh, here we see the, this a lot of shows, uh, uh, we got the uh, attribute inference uh, from the gender, accent, uh, age, and uh, emotion. All, we also calculate the jacket similarities. Uh, here see, we see the gender inference uh, show in the blue uh, uh, line. It, it just changes slide. If we change the uh, uh, McDonald's coefficient from 0.9 to the 0.5, it just uh, uh, around 20% uh, uh, change. 
However, for the accent, we can see the change uh, significantly uh, from 80% uh, to the 10%, uh, you change 70%. Uh, so here we give the one demo is, uh, what are you talking about as a sentence? Let's hear the, the sound. Uh, give me one sec. What are you talking about? Okay, this is, this is a piece of original speech. Uh, the the male Chinese uh his thirties uh spoken in the anger uh, uh emotion. Next we uh we apply a McDonald's coefficient. It show it changes the accent. Let's hear the sound. What are you talking about? So we can we can hear that that sound change. Uh, the accent also changes from the Chinese to the uh, the people in uh, New Zealand. Next, we uh, we give the main of different voice uh, and uh, anonymity systems. Uh, let me show the point here. Let's see. Uh, first, first, we build the baseline. We have the emotion, age, uh, accent, gender, and now uh, we calculate the JK similarity uh, equal error rate, and uh, we get the utilitarian privacy in the trade off. Uh, we apply the uh, the main on the five models: uh, McDonald's voice mask, hyphen gang, uh, mask cycle gang, V clock. So we see the different. Uh, uh, and the system, they hide the attributes in different, different levels. Overall, we give the optimal trade off from high to low. We see high can uh, achieve the highest trade off on 0.85, 45. And then the next one is the V clock, is 0 0.65, 74. So, voice people can uh, rank the voice on noise models and give the uh, rank based on the uh, attribute selection and uh, So to conclude our paper, uh, we we develop voice PM. Uh, it provides a voice uh, privacy main framework. Uh, first, it can effectively make the train of different uh, anonymized models, and then it can the anonymized models can with very privacy level can be redefined. The user can have the feasibility for uh, attribute configurations. However, there are two limitations of uh, our research. The first limitation is the uh, the current accuracy of the emotion and aging, uh, we are applying the state of our other models. Uh, the inference model is relatively low. Uh, in the future, we, if we have a new model, uh, 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 we can improve the pro, uh, accuracy. The second, uh, it also lacks uh, human perception verification of the other audio. Uh, we plan to do this work uh, uh, in the future to uh, develop user study. So yeah, module can be found in my uh, our paper and our website. Our, our website. Uh, the code will be released soon, and we, we yeah we add more features and more models in the uh in this project. Yes, thank you. I'm happy to answer questions. Questions for Xiaohu. All right, we've got one from Steve Schneider. Mm -hmm. Hi, thank, thanks for your uh, presentation. Um, is there any um, advice that you would give to um, to people that want to kind of maximize the chances of, of keeping anonymous or protecting themselves or protecting their privacy? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat your question again? Is there any advice that you would give to to people, given the the insights that you that you've shown us? What advice would you give to people that would like to um, protect their um, Privacy. Okay, so yeah, so the the suggestion would be, uh, uh, if the user prefer, for example, some users they prefer more, uh, they want to protect their gender, uh, they want to prefer accent. So based on the, the user uh, fit, uh, a choice, the user selection, so the model can recommend the corresponding models to give the uh, optimal trend off to uh, to the user, so the user can uh, find the attributes they want. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's thank our speaker again. Yeah, thank you.